Today, we're going to be putting this bill hook to the test against this ballistic head dummy. I would have liked better weather, but this ballistic gel is shrinking fast, so I'm not sure we have too much time left to actually do this video. So we're going to knock it out now and hope that the weather holds out. Warning, of course, this is full of fake blood, so if you're a bit squeamish, be aware that things are going to get a little nasty. Now, I've put a bit of an edge on this. It's not razor sharp by any means, but that's part of the experiment here is I'm curious how dull can we actually get away with. I, I've sharpened it a bit, but you know, it's not going to slice through paper or anything, but the fact that it's on this really long pole, I'm curious to see what happens. So let's find out. These ballistic heads are pretty pricey, so I want to get my best bang for my buck here. So I'm going to start with the least invasive things I can do, and we're going to escalate from there. So first off, we're going to see if we can get this into the eye. So that was interesting. It punched straight through. We had about that much penetration there. Now what's interesting, if you can see here how much thicker the tip of this is, this is reinforced to give a nice strong point for punching through armor, a male specifically. But the interesting thing that happened was that once it got in there, getting it back out past this thick point was kind of difficult because once it got in, it didn't want to come back out through that space. Now this is very much the main strike face of the bill. But I'm curious, while we have a relatively intact skull here, to lead with the bill itself. I want to see what this hook does when I drop it down on that head. So let's do that next. So I forgot to account for the grain <laughs> pattern. I really should have mounted it along the grain. So we're going to have to fix that real fast. But uh, it went right through, that's for sure. It propagated from the crack on the thrust there. So you can see where the thrust went in. And this crack here went all the way up to where we penetrated with the, uh, the hook itself. And yeah, it just it popped straight through. But we're going to try to do a, some quick repair work here with the stand and see if we can get this going again. All right, we're a little short on time. So let's hope that this holds for now. I've put it more in line with the grain. Uh, we'll see. This side of the skull is all fractured up. We're going to now try for maybe a edge blow right here with that big, heavy cutting edge and see what happens. I'm not sure that there's too much structure left to this skull after its tumble, but we'll give it a go. That was a bad cut on my part. I shot through and I just, I didn't commit to the swing enough. I was a little timid after having broken it last time. So I kind of pulled off on the gas, but it has sheared this entire ear into a flap along with a chunk of the skull. So we didn't penetrate past the skull though. So I guess they're kind of okay if they don't mind losing a shaving of their skull, but let's give that another go. That's a lot of damage. So we struck with the cutting face here. It came in along that same angle again. And this time we have sheared all the way through, opening up all of this brain case here. And also his neck is completely broken. There's nothing holding his, oh my goodness. There is nothing holding that neck together anymore. Wow. Okay. All right, we've used the lead spike, the bill, the cutting face. We still haven't tried this out. And the back of this head's about the only thing that's left still intact. So let's give it a go. Well, that was an incredibly easy in and out. It went in, pop, shot back out. Ah, uh, yeah, it sheared right through that back of the skull. I forgot, there is one more part of this we haven't used. So let's see if there's anything left in him that we can possibly smash. Again. Well, 
Uh, there was a bunch of holes in his brain. <laughs> um, not much of a face left after that one. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot left we can do once that neck snaps, because the only thing left holding him together is some tissue, and that is not enough to stop the force of this hitting him. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed. <laughs> this is going to be a fun one to clean up. So, yeah, till the next time. Oh, oh there he goes. He's gone.